Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. So before we get started, please can you just put your student numbers in the chat just so that I can keep track of the attendance. Okay, so yesterday we looked at the trig substitution and which substitutions you need to make, uh, you know, given a specific kind of integral. So we're gonna look at a few more examples today um, just as extra practice. Okay, and then tomorrow is a public holiday. Uh, so we won't be having a lecture. Instead, I will upload a helper video on the prerequisites for partial fractions. So it's just a short video going through uh, what a rational function is, uh, polynomial long division and, and stuff like that. So it's all the things you need to know uh, before we cover partial fractions. Okay, and then on uh, Thursday and Friday, we'll go back to the normal lecturing. Okay, uh, but today we've got some more examples on trig substitution to do. So the first example is the integral of one over the square root of x squared minus one. Okay, so we see we've got the square root of x squared minus something. So we know that we should be using some kind of trig substitution, uh, but which one do we use? Okay, so we know it's x squared minus one. We could also write that as x squared minus one squared. So let's have a look at our table that we had here. Okay, so x squared minus one, that's going to be this case three over here. We need to make the substitution x is equal to sec theta. Okay, and then once we have that, we can convert uh, the integral into a trig integral. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, sorry, uh, here we go. So we know that we need to substitute x is equal to sec theta. So that means dx is going to be sec theta tan theta d theta. Okay. So now we need to rewrite the integral. So it's going to be the integral of one over the square root of sec squared theta, because that's x squared minus one, and then dx becomes sec theta tan theta d theta. Okay, so I've just made the replacements. I've substituted x inside, um, and then dx I've replaced over there. Okay, we can simplify this now. So uh, we know one plus tan squared is sec squared. So sec squared minus one is then tan squared. So this is one over the square root of tan squared theta times sec theta tan theta d theta. Okay, the square root and the squared, that's gonna cancel out. So this is the integral of sec theta tan theta over tan theta d theta. Okay, so now um, the tan thetas are going to cancel and we left with just sec theta d theta. So this is going to be the integral of sec theta d theta. Okay, and this is, uh, we did this a while ago. The integral of sec theta is going to be the natural log of sec theta plus tan theta. Ah, sorry. Uh, the natural log of sec theta plus tan theta plus C. Okay, so that's the trig integral taken care of. Uh, but remember, we need to write this in terms of X. So we look back at our uh, equation relating X and theta. Yeah, so we see that sec theta is equal to x. Uh, we could also write that as x over one. Okay, uh, but sec theta is one over cos theta. So we could also write this as cos theta is equal to one over x. Same thing over there. Okay, so let's just draw our triangle. If this angle in the corner here is theta, uh, then the way cos works is we have the adjacent over hypotenuse. 
So the adjacence is one, the hypotenuse is X. And so uh, the opposite is then going to be X squared minus one. And we just use Pythagoras to find that out. Okay, so we've got all three sides. So if we have all three sides, we can find any trig ratio that we want. So we actually need to find uh, tan theta. We, we don't know what that is. So tan theta is going to be opposites over, sorry, opposites over adjacent. The opposite is the square root of x squared minus one. And the adjacent is one. So we're just dividing by one. Okay, so we can take this tan theta and substitute it in. We're gonna end up with the natural log of sec theta is just x. Tan theta is the square root thing we've got here. Sorry, uh, let's just rewrite that. X squared minus one, um, and then plus C. Okay, so um, exactly the same as we, what we did before. The first thing we need to do is identify which case we are dealing with. In this case, we have X squared minus one. So that tells us we should be using the sec theta substitution. So we do that. Wherever there's an X, we substitute sec theta. The DX gets replaced with sec theta tan theta d theta. Um, everything becomes a trig integral. We do the trig integral. And to go from theta back to X, remember that we have to draw our triangle. Yeah, because we're given one of the trig ratios, uh, we can use that to find the missing side. Once we have the missing side, we can calculate um, the other trig ratios. Um, in this case, we needed tan. Okay, so we substitute tan inside, and then we get our final answer. Okay, um, let me just check the chats. If there's any questions, no. Okay, um, any questions about this example? Okay, so it's not too bad. Once you identify which substitution to make, uh, then you just go through uh, the trig integral. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the next example. It's a bit more difficult than what we've had before. Uh, sorry. Uh, example two, uh, it's going to be the integral of x cubed over 4x squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2. Okay, so um, the square root is not explicitly shown here, uh, but like I said last time, the square root is actually here. Um, it's just hidden. So this 4x squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2 is the same thing as the square root of 4x squared plus 9 cubed. So you see, we still got the square root here. It's just hidden inside the exponents. So this is a, a trig substitution question, and uh, we know what to do. Okay, the next thing is that this is not uh, clearly something like x squared plus a squared. We see we've got this extra four here. Okay, so it's four x squared. Okay, so um, we need to try and fix that. So um, you can either fix this in two ways. So we can say um, x is equal to three over two sec theta, okay? So the reason we do this three over two um, is we divided through by four. So if we look at the x squared, uh, four x squared plus nine, we can also write this as four times x squared plus nine over four. 
which is the same thing as four times x squared plus three over two squared. Okay, so that's where we get this three over two from. Okay, so we divide it through by four and then we changed it to something like a squared, uh, which is what we had in our table. Uh, so you can either do that. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Or you can do a u substitution uh, to get rid of that four x squared. So we can say um, something like, let u be equal to um, 2x. So then this means that u is equal to 4x. So u squared is 4x squared. So the 4x squared gets replaced with u squared. And then we can carry on from there. Okay, so uh, that's up to you how you want to um, uh, change that. Okay, but let's go through this u substitution first. So u is equal to 2x. So u squared is 4x squared. Um, and then that means du is going to be 2dx. One half du is dx. Okay, so what is this going to look like now? So we're going to have the integral of x cubed. So what's x cubed going to be? Sorry, x cubed is going to be 1 eighth u cubed. Okay, so we just took the u equals 2x and we uh, put the 2 on the other side and then cubed it. Okay, so it's going to be 1 eighth u cubed divided by 4x squared, that's going to be u squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2, and then dx, that's 1 half du. Okay, so this becomes 1 over 16, the integral of u cubed over u squared plus 9. Um, let me just rewrite that. So we have the square root of u squared plus 9 cubed du. Okay, now you see it's in that familiar form with the square root and u squared. Okay. Um, and then even more, we can take this non and we can write it as three squared. So now we know what A needs to be. So in this case, A is three. So this is something like U squared plus A squared, where A is three. So uh, what do we do in that case? Okay. So that's going to be something like this over here. Okay, the second case uh, where x is a tan theta. So uh, let's go through that. Okay, so u is going to be 3 tan theta. Okay, that's the, the substitution we need to do. So du is going to be 3 sec squared theta d theta. Okay, derivative of tan. Um, is x squared. So let's do the substitution now. So u is now replaced with 3 tan theta. So it's going to be 1 over 16, 3 tan theta cubed divided by the square root of uh, 3 squared. So that's going to be 9 tan squared theta plus 9. And then du is 3 sec squared theta d theta. Yeah, so I'll just put all of that in. Okay, uh, let's simplify this now. So we have 1 over 16 integral uh, 3 cubed. That's going to be 27 tan cubed theta times 3 sec squared theta d theta. Um, all divided by uh, the 9 we can factor out. So we have root 9, which is 3. So we have a 3 coming out. And then the square root of tan squared theta plus 1. Now, tan squared theta plus 1, we know that's going to be sec squared theta. And then after taking the square root, it just becomes sec theta. And also, these threes can cancel. 
So this is going to be 27 over 16, the integral of uh, tan cubed theta. And then, uh, like we said, the denominator is going to become sec theta. So sec squared theta divided by sec theta, that's just going to be sec theta. Okay, so after simplification, we get ourselves a trig integral. Okay, so now we need to figure out um, this integral over here. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So uh, we've got tan, uh, tan cubed, so tan is odd, and sec is also odd. So what do we need to do to figure this one out? Oh, uh, sorry, I uh, just realized now, sorry. Uh, the cubed, I forgot this is all cubed here. So it's all of that cubed. Sorry, that's cubed there. Um, um, so that's sec squared over sec cubed. Sorry, so that's going to be 27 over 16, um, the integral of tan cubed theta over sec theta e theta. Sorry, there's this cubed here from, uh, from the beginning here. So that's a cubed there. That needs to be cubed all the way through. Okay, uh, question here, how did we get one over eight? Uh, that is from the substitution here. So X, so uh, let's do this over here. So U is equal to two X. So one half U is equal to X. One half U cubed is equal to X cubed. So one eighth U cubed is equal to X cubed. That's the eight that we have there. Okay, one over eight there. Okay, um, so back to this now. So we have tan cubed over sec theta. Uh, we need to try to figure out how to solve this trig integral. Okay, um, any ideas on how we can solve this? Okay, so what did we do last time when there was a sec theta in the bottom? Okay, so we can take this integral here and we can rewrite it. If there's a sec in the bottom, we can rewrite it using cos. Remember, one over cos is sec. So sec, uh, sorry, one over sec is cos. Okay, if there's a sec in the bottom, we can rewrite it to cos. So this is going to be 27 over 16, the integral of sine cubed theta over cos cubed theta times, and then we can rewrite uh, one over sec as cos. Okay, so we see that the cos and the cos cubed, uh, one of those cancel out. So we're going to get 27 over 16, the integral of sine cubed over cos squared. E theta. Okay, now we know what to do in this case, we've got sine to an odd power. So whenever sine is to an odd power, we factor out one of the sine and change the rest to cos. So that's 27 over 16. The integral of sine squared theta over cos squared theta, where we factored out a sine. Okay, because sine uh, had an odd power, so we factor out one of those. Okay. So here we factored out a sine. Okay, 
Next step, we need to change the sine squared into something with cos squared. So sine squared plus cos squared is one. So sine squared, we can rewrite as one minus cos squared. So this is going to be 27 over 16. The integral of one minus cos squared over cos squared theta times sine theta d theta. Okay, so we changed uh, the sine squared to something with cos squared. Okay, uh, what's the next step? Once we do that, we need to do the u substitution uh, where we let u be equal to cos. Okay, but if we go back up here, we already used u, so we need another variable. Uh, let's call it t. So let t be equal to cos theta. dt is going to be minus sine theta d theta. So minus dt is going to be sine theta d theta. Okay, so I've just changed it to that. So we're going to get uh, minus 27 over 16, the integral of one minus t squared over t squared, and then sine theta d theta, that just becomes dt. Okay, so we've done our substitution, and now this becomes uh, pretty easy to solve. So we have minus 27 over 16, integral of one over t squared, we can write as t to the minus two, t squared over t squared, that's minus one. So that's minus 27 over 16. The integral of t to the minus two, we add one to the exponent to make it minus one and divide by that. So we have minus t to the minus one, minus t plus c. Okay. Um, and then also the minuses can cancel. So we can take this minus sign and make everything plus. Next, we have our answer in terms of t. We can go back to our trig function um, in terms of cos. So this is going to be 27 over 16, uh, one over cos theta plus cos theta plus c. Okay. Uh, but we're not done yet. We've gone back to our trig function, uh, but remember we want our answer in terms of X. Okay, uh, but we still got this U substitution in the way as well. Okay, so we've got here tan theta, oh, sorry, U is equal to three tan theta. So we can use that to go back to our U variable. So u is equal to three tan theta. Tan theta is going to be u over three. Remember that's the same as opposites over adjacent. So we can draw ourselves a nice triangle. If this is theta, then the opposite is u. The adjacent is three. So this becomes u squared plus nine. Okay, so we can substitute. At 27 over 16. Cos theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So three over the square root of u squared plus nine. But since we have one over cos theta, uh, we flip that around. So we're gonna have one third, the square root of u squared plus nine plus, and then cos theta is going to be three over the square root of u squared plus nine plus c. Okay, so that is just substituting our trig ratio um, cos theta, okay, based on the triangle. Okay, uh, I've got a question here. Uh, please re-explain the u substitution. Okay, sure. Uh, let me just go back to the x variable and then I'll explain that. Okay, so we've got our answer in terms of u, uh, but remember we want our answer in terms of x. So here we've got u is equal to 2x, 
So finally, we can substitute that inside um, and we end up with 27 over 16, one third of 4x squared plus 9 plus 3 over the square root of 4x squared plus 9 plus c. Yeah, and then that's our final answer in terms of x. Okay, um, so let's just go back to the beginning with that u substitution. So why did I do that? Uh, let's just rewrite the integral here. So, so we've got um, the integral of x cubed over the square root of 4x squared um, plus 9. Okay, and then all of this was cubed. Okay, so why did I do u equals 2x? Okay, the reason is if we look back at our table of trig substitutions, um, we see here it's case case two, this part over here. We see that this only works with a squared plus x squared. So we see the x squared is by itself. There's nothing multiplying the x squared over there. So what we need to do is try get this variable by itself. So it's just x squared. Over here, it's 4x squared. Okay, so there's a problem there. It's not x squared by itself. So we can do this one of two ways. Okay, we can either um, divide by 4 over there. So we can say this is the integral of x cubed over square root uh, 4 into x squared plus 9 over 4, all of that cubed. So then this now becomes uh, 1 over 4 to the 3 over 2 um, integral of x cubed over the square root of x squared plus 9 over 4, all of that cubed. Okay, now you see it's by itself. Okay, now we've just got x squared by itself. So you can either do that, and that gives you x squared by itself, um, or you can say u is equal to 2x. So then this now becomes the integral of uh, 1 eighth u cubed over the square root of u squared plus 9 cubed times one half du. In this case, the variable is by itself as well. Okay, so you can do either way, as long as you have the variable by itself, there's no multiple in front of it. So there is no uh, multiple in front of x or u. Okay, because that's what we've got in our table of substitutions here. So we've got a squared minus x squared. You see the x squared is by itself. a squared plus x squared. Again, x squared is by itself. Um, and x squared minus a squared. Again, it's just x squared. So before we do the substitution, uh, we have to make it look like this. So if we go back here, um, we see we can do either of these two methods, uh, but it has to be by itself here. So this is x squared by itself or u squared by itself. Okay, you have to make it look like that uh, before you do any substitutions. Okay, um, does that answer your question? Okay, uh, is that all right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, um, so that's a pretty long question. Um, you're probably not gonna get something like that in the test. Okay, it's a bit, bit too long uh, for that. Um, but it's a good problem for practicing your U substitution um, and so on. 
Okay, so you see we had to do a U substitution twice over there. Okay, so it's good practice. Okay, but let's have a look at some homework problems for today. Okay, so these are extra homework problems um, on top of those mixed integrals that I already put up. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at some problems here. Uh, so number one, uh, the integral of uh, one plus x squared over x dx. Okay, so these are more like your test top questions here. So I'm not gonna give you something very long with all those numbers and stuff. That's too much work to do. Okay. Um, and then we have the integral x over square root um, x squared minus seven. Okay, uh, number three. Okay, so uh, the third one needs a bit of a u substitution before you start. Okay, so that's your little hint. So this is square root uh, three minus two X minus X squared. Okay, so this one needs a U substitution uh, before you do your trig substitution. Okay, so it's a little star here. Um, and then uh, finally, number four, uh, we have the integral square root uh, five plus four X uh, minus x squared. Again, um, you need a u substitution before your uh, trig substitution. So I'll put stars over there. Okay. Okay, so of course, um, for the test coming up, um, if you have to do a u substitution uh, before you do your trig substitution, uh, then that question will be for a few marks extra. Yeah, so maybe like um, uh, three or four marks extra for these uh, starred ones over here. Okay, just to give you an idea of uh, what to expect in the test. Okay, uh, but these cover everything uh, that you need to know for trig substitution. Okay, so uh, tomorrow uh, I'll upload the video on the rational functions and the polynomial division. And then for Thursday and Friday, um, we'll do the partial fraction stuff. Uh, but just on Thursday, remember you're doing your quiz during the lecture period. So we won't have um, a live lecture. Instead, you'll be writing the quiz. Uh, so there will be a video uploaded instead. You can just watch that later. Okay, that will just be an introduction uh, to the partial fraction stuff. Um, and then on Friday, we will uh, do, do it properly. Okay, uh, someone's asking a question here. Uh, can you please do an example related to number five? Uh, number five, uh, where's, which one's number five? Oh, uh, number four. Um, yeah, so that's going to, I'll upload that with the homework solutions. So, uh, give it a go first. So try it out yourself, um, and then you can have a look at the uh, solutions for that. Okay, but I don't want to give you the answer right away. I want to see if you can try it out first. Okay, um, any other questions? Okay. Cool, so yeah, Thursday, that's going to be for your quiz. We're not gonna have a lecture. You're gonna write your quiz in that time. Uh, there will be a video uh, uh, doing an introduction on partial fractions. And then Friday, we'll go through um, all of those problems. Okay, but if you do have any questions later on, please post them on the WhatsApp group um, or send me an email. I can help you out. Uh, the tutors are also available um, on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can ask them as well. 
Yeah, and then later this evening, I will post the solutions for these four problems over here. Okay, but try out number three and four, see if you can get it before you uh, take a look at the solutions. Okay, so I'll see all of you on Friday. Bye everyone.